Hello guys, Technique here and in this video I'm going to show you some of my tips to speed up your Android device. I know it's a common problem, you bought a new device but after some time it became laggy and you don't know what to do. This episode is for you, so let's get started. The first uh, tip is to control the animation speed. You can find the animation speed in the hidden options which are developer options in uh, HTC One M7 but it will work on other devices too. In my case, I have to go to my phone identity, nope, sorry, the software information to more, and hit the build number seven times. You can find it in about phone on other device, but it's here for me. Next, go to developer options and scroll down to the advanced in my case, and uh, find the animation scale. Uh, let me explain what it does. The animations which are used to switch between apps as well as to uh, make the window pop up on your device are really really small and on default it's 1x but you can go ahead and uh, shorten the animations to 5x which is uh, half the animation and you can go ahead and uh, show disable the animations. It's really fast guys and you will not feel any lag whatsoever. Next step is to use lightweight launchers. In my case I'm using Nova Launcher for one year now and I'm gonna tell you guys that it's really lightweight, it's really fast and uh, it also has the latest features of Android devices which is really cool and I really recommend this guys, I'll drop the link in the description below. Next step is to uninstall apps that you don't use. I know it's a common problem but you gotta uninstall the apps that are eating your RAM and by the way, you can uninstall it from app section HTC One. Scroll down and uninstall all apps that you don't have. Alternatively, you can disable the apps. For example, some of the system apps can't be disabled without root access. But here you will find that the tasks here, you can't uninstall it, but you can disable it. But uh, in my HTC N7, you can't do it. Anyways, next step is to control the RAM usage and it's really common problem for many of us. Here you can see the memory of device which are uh, used by apps or system and here you see the RAMs uh, that are used uh, for apps. You can go ahead and disable some apps but some of them keep in mind that can't be safe or disabled. For example I'm using the screen record approach it's some uh, RAM but you can go ahead and uh, stop or stop some of the misbe misbehaving apps on Anuti device. For the next tips, you will need root access. So uh, before doing this, you have to root your device. I drop some links uh, how to root your device. In my case, HTC One M7. So go ahead and root your device because it really speeds up your device. Next uh, is the Cedar. I don't know about you guys, but this app really, really uh, enables the phone to be really fast. It will kill flag. I don't know about the process that it does, but after enabling this uh, extend I.O. queue as well as uh, aggressive governor, you will really feel the uh, performance. Next step is to uh, overclock your device, and this can be achieved by flashing custom kernels and uh, ROMs, which come with the overclockable kernels. You can use any kernel you want and any app to overclock your device. You can go ahead and use trickster mode, which I'm really uh, fond of. You can go ahead and set the maximum frequency to 1.5, 1.7 or higher if you want. But keep in mind that it will uh, make your battery last, last really shorter. Next step is uh, to use estimate. And this uh, estimate app really uh, finds the corpses in your device and the caches which are not uh, in the use. So go ahead and scan and it will find the misbehaving apps corpses as, uh, as well as data that are not used. And it really speeds up your device as well as uh, gives you additional storage. So just wait for it and as, uh, as fast as it can it will find this corpses and you can go ahead and uh, speed up your device. I'm just quit. I just quit it. Next uh, is to use Greenify. I know you have heard about this uh, app because uh, some of the guys here rooted their device to use this app. 
Uh, what it does, it's a forced stop the app that are not in use. So uh, after this, you won't have to worry about apps running in the background. At least uh, it won't uh, have effect on your device. So it will move faster on your phone as well as uh, give you additional battery life, which is really cool. Uh, hit that plus button and you can see the app that are in, in the background. Tap on them and uh, greenify them as well as gain the root access. Next app I want to show you guys, it's really helpful. It's the booster plus battery saver, which I'll drop in the description below. And uh, this uh, guy, I don't know what it does, but it really fastens your phone. Uh, I, I know that it uh, changes the boot prop and other options in your device, so it will uh, make your phone faster and uh, go ahead and use this battery saver intent booster. It's a pack of boosters that are um, on other apps, but this one really works and you can go ahead and use it. I don't know many of you don't know about it. Next uh, app that I wanted to show you guys is system app uninstaller or remover. This is really a good thing for root access because if you have rooted your device, you can go ahead and uninstall those crappy system apps that you don't need, but you are forced to use it. In my case, I have tons, tons of apps that are not in use, that are HTC made and I really don't use it. So go ahead and uninstall these apps, but keep in mind that some apps can't be uninstalled. For example, you can't uh, uninstall the uh, dialer because it will make your phone useless, but just tap on the um, file manager. For example, I don't use the file manager, so I can uninstall it and gain some storage as well as performance and battery life. Next app and um, next uh, tip is to use your device and restart your device once a week. I know uh, some of you guys don't restart your device, but uh, the phone is like PC. It needs to be restarted once a week or once a month to restart this running process which are in the uh, app department and this really helps because some of, some of the times it really lags and if you restart your device you can go ahead and um, speed up your device. And uh, not last but not least is to factory reset your device. Factory resettings means that all your data will be deleted and uh, this will give you some additional storage and battery life as well as some power. And uh, also one tip is to control your battery usage, usage uh, in the app settings. You can find it here and it really helps. You have the idea how your phone works in the screen of screen on or all time. In my case, these are three options that I can see. And you can see that Chrome uh, developer browser really eats some, some CPU as well as battery life. So keep in mind that you have to uninstall those apps or force stop them or unify them as you want. This was all. Thanks for, thank you guys for watching it and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.